Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 64 scale Hot Wheels 1949 VW Beetle pickup truck which debuted in the 2019 Volkswagen mainline segment. It's a replication of the pickup version of Volkswagen's iconic Beetle. It's my entry into the February Four Horsemen Invitational on the theme of Valentine's. The Four Horsemen are Paul at Diecast Graveyard, myself representing Maple Leaf Customs, Tom from Caliber 50 Customs, and Harlan from Go Bears Diecast Workshop. This month's guest horseman is Ben from BP Custom Creations. There you can see the next couple of months cars and don't forget we want you to participate and if you don't have the exact casting that we've promoted use the next closest one that you can find because we don't want you to miss out on any of our monthly builds. Upload dates are always the last day of the month and we invite you to send in a glamour pick for inclusion in a recap video. Get your name and your channel name and your work out there in front of lots of new viewers. This week's video is a buddy build that I'm doing together with fellow horseman Tom from Caliber 50 Customs. We were having an Instagram chat a little while ago talking about the Valentine's theme and we came up with this idea that might be a little bit off of the mainstream path and you'll see what that is in a couple minutes. I'm wondering if anyone else is going to think of the same thing we did. So stay tuned and make sure you catch Tom's video as well as all of the many others that are going to be uploaded this month on the Valentine's theme. Speaking of upcoming videos, I want to make sure that you're aware of a couple of things that I've got planned. Next weekend is the Diecast International Builders Painted Green followed by my entry to the Silva Challenge, which I've just finished, had fun with that. And there's less than a month to go now for my annual Porsche Invitational, which you're invited to join in on. And it's not too late to dig out a Porsche and customize it any way that you want. This week's community shout out goes to a YouTube channel by the name of Restore Videos, where you'll see all manner of makes and models of cars done up is there a Porsche? Yes, there is. This is a little Carrera that I found on that channel too. So follow the link in the description and check it out and tell them you came by from Maple Leaf Customs. Thank you. The little beetle pickup has come out of the paint stripper and I gave it a quick once over with the wire wheel. I don't want it to be perfectly done. And I decided to get the jeweler saw out and cut off the top part of the bed from the back looks like this now I'm gonna use these little coffee stir sticks and fabricate a wooden flatbed here it is and it'll fit on there perfectly simple changes like this can give your casting an entirely new look I've got a little hobby size bench top disc sander that I use now to smooth out the edges and square it up a little. It's a great piece of equipment to have for the hobby in case you're too lazy to hold sandpaper by hand. Photo evidence that the VW Beetle pickup is a real thing. Andrew, what are you doing to the casting now? Looks like you're adding bullet holes? Exacto mundo. This is the theme that Tom and I came up with when we were chatting on Instagram. It's a Valentine's theme, but it's the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, which is the real story of the murder of seven gangsters that occurred on Valentine's Day 1929. The men were gathered at a Lincoln Park Chicago garage on the morning of February 14th and they were executed by four unknown assailants, two dressed as police officers. This infamous event was the culmination of the organized crime competition for control of the bootleg industry in the city during Prohibition between the Irish Northside Gang 
headed by George Bugs Moran and their Italian Chicago outfit rivals, led by Al Capone. Yeah, so the date of the massacre was 1929, and this is a 1949 Beatle, so <laughs> please suspend belief at this point in the video and use your imagination. The management thanks you. You can see that I'm using the salt chipping technique today to achieve the aged patina that I'm after. Even though I laid down a top coat of red over the rust coat, you still see a significant rust pattern underneath. Not as brilliant if I'd gone yellow on top, but it's a Valentine's theme, and I want to stick with the red. But I'm going to dull that down even more with a black wash over the entire casting, which I think gives an impressive effect on a 1 to 64 scale car. And then with some dry brushing of browns and oranges, I get this really weathered look that I'm after. That looks like a beaten up old work truck, doesn't it? Now for some attention to the wooden flatbed. I just used some Viejo acrylic mud brown, watered down, it's about 50-50, and that gives me the stained wood appearance that I want. But before I permanently affix that, I needed to take off the little jerry can that was part of the plastic casting of the truck bed. Although I'm only halfway through the project, it's time for an early reassembly. Many of these parts are going to continue to receive some weathering and aging techniques. I think it's better to do it all together when the pickup's back in one piece instead of separately. So that's why I'm doing that now. I make sure everything fits together the way it should. And it's got the look that I want. So I'm happy up to this point. I'm using the original wheels because they've got that Volkswagen look that I don't have anything similar to. Some super glue applied to the bare casting. And now I'm putting some wooden trim around the bottom of the flatbed by using a toothpick that's cut to length. It's the same soft wood as the coffee stir sticks. Once these three pieces are on, gets the same varnish treatment, it looks like it's always been there. Well, I'm pleased with myself, but we're not even near finished yet. A couple of gaps between the bed that I made and the casting which wasn't cut perfectly truly so this textured weathering which is usually for ground cover makes great road grunge like this and camouflages any little mistakes I'll paint that up as well now for a tarpaulin on the back I use some gift wrapping tissue and a little bit of Mod Podge wrinkle it up the way that I want and that's as realistic as I can get it pretty good now some certain parts of the truck are going to get a rust wash treatment including the hubcaps to age them a little bit but not the whole casting body just here and there you can get the vision now that the patina is achieved after several different steps and applications and processes and you can use your own techniques in different order as well i'm pretty sure i have never done the same thing twice exactly the same so experiment and have fun the truck bed tarp gets a paint job also in acrylic Vallejo paint I like to put a chunk of chain in the back whenever I can for realism. And a touch of super glue to hold it in place. Some Citadel Nuln oil, which is another black wash, brings out the wrinkles and the crevices and the shadows in the tarp. 
to make those bullet holes that I simply drilled into the casting look more realistic, I want to give this splayed metal look. I achieved that by using the tip of a toothpick and a little bit of off-white, almost gray paint to show exposed metal. Let's have a closer look. I'm very pleased with the overall effect that I got. You see the headlights got a dab of off-white paint. That road grunge got discolored to look more realistic. I kept the original wheels with the Volkswagen hubs on them. Scratch built a wooden flatbed, the tarp, the chain, the bullet holes. There was only a little bit of detail to do on the undercarriage with the channel logo. There's even a spider crack in the windshield where a bullet may have grazed by there on the Valentine's Day Massacre that lives on in infamy. Thanks to Paul from Diecast Graveyard for supplying me with the original Beetle pickup truck, as you see here. What a change! Now you can see the nice patina that I achieved with so many different layers and effects. I think it looks really terrific. That's my entry to the February Valentine's theme invitational. Loosely based on that as it is. I do a double-sided print on some heavy card stock for my custom cards. I'm going to offer all of my 2023 Four Horsemen customs for sale this year. Check my YouTube community tab. Make a bid in there. I'm going to ask everyone for $10 for worldwide shipping no matter where it goes. That's the maximum. So if you're interested in owning this VW Beetle pickup, that's where to go. Thanks for visiting my channel today. Be sure to check out all of the other entries for the Four Horsemen's February Valentine's build, especially my buddy Tom's. Thanks again to Ben for being our guest horseman this month. Come on back soon, and often, it's coffee time.